Well, I want to fax to Mars. And on college campuses, uh, between Martin Luther King Jr. Day and uh, January 18th, a group of colleges are planning seditious acts uh, to resist the uh, Trump inauguration. Uh, you're going to be shocked at some of these colleges. They're, uh, these are mainstream colleges, and they shouldn't be, you know, their presidents should be arrested. Let me show you what the, sedi the uh, definition of sedition is before we get started. Incitement of resistance to or insurrection against lawful authority. That's sedition, and it is a crime. Now, we have the peaceful transition of government that's about to happen. It's part of what we do in this country. We have an out outgoing president is replaced by an incoming president, and it's done peacefully. That is one of the hallmarks of this country. They call themselves Teach, Organize, Resist, and I'll show you the website. National Teaching Movement is asking professors to set aside class time between Martin Luther King Jr. Day and the presidential inauguration to protest our oppression and challenge Trumpism. The movement known as Teach, Organize, Resist is set to kick off on January 18th strategically poised between Martin Luther King Day and presidential inauguration as an explicit means of challenging Trumpism. Transform your classrooms and commons into spaces of education that protest policies of violence, disenfranchisement, segregation, and isolationism. Organizers urge Educators on the movement's homepage, clarifying elsewhere the site is on the site that particip participation is an opportunity to affirm the role of critical thinking and academic knowledge in challenging Trumpism. That is a lie. They're not uh, teaching critical thinking at all. So that is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. On that day, we intend to teach about the agendas and policies of the new administration, be it propose, propose dismantling of economic and environmental regulations or the threatened rollback, hard-won rights that form the fragile scaffolding of the American democracy. The description for teaching explains, later accusing Trump institutionalizing white supremacy and allegedly proposing an expansion of state violence, targeting people of color and other marginalized groups. That is incredible bullshit. And it just goes on, it's the same old crap. Same old crap to hear from liberals about Trump. You've heard it before, so let's take a look at their site. Here's a list of colleges that uh, are participating so far. I can't believe, you know, they're part participating in sedition. And their presence should be arrested and the colleges should receive no further state or federal aid. So let's go through the list. UCLA, American Anthropo Logical Association, American University, Washington, D.C., University of California, Berkeley, Brisbane Free University, that is uh, Australia, California Institute of the Arts, California Institute of Technology, University of Cincinnati, 
University of Dayton, Los Angeles Poverty Department. I don't know what that is. University of Minnesota, National University of Singapore, Foreign, New York University, Princeton, RMIT University, University of California, Santa Barbara, University of California, Santa Cruz, Sapienza, University of Rome, I'm assuming that's Italy, Scripps College, Texas State University, University of Kentucky, University of Southern California, California State University, Los Angeles, Vanderbilt University, University of Washington. This is sedition. Uh, right on the site, teach, organize, resist. Well, I'm very sorry. The election is over. You don't have the right to res resist the transition of power from Barack Obama to Donald Trump. This should be a peaceful, easy transition. Donald Trump takes over and does his thing. Now, I don't mind if you're just going to, you know, have classes explaining the differences in policies. That would be one thing. But when we see these sites that have this teach, organize, resist on it, that is sedition. And God only knows what they're planning. I got news for you, uh, motherfuckers. Uh, we got some bikers that are not happy with what some of you people are doing. You want to cause trouble, you're going to have to go through a line of bikers. I wouldn't want to do that. UCLA from the Front Lines of Justice. Sedition. Apparently this is all UCLA. I'm not going to go through them all. But you get the point. They are, they're uh, college presidents of college deans and so forth should be arrested immediately and be put on trial for sedition against the United States. And they should be shut down until the seditious elements are arrested and they start teaching kids what they're supposed to be teaching them, which is how to uh, support themselves in the marketplace in their chosen field of study. That's what they should be doing. They shouldn't be getting involved in politics at all. So there you have it. These colleges are, uh, this is blatant out-and-out -out sedition. They are committing crimes. Let's take a look at Los Angeles Poverty Department. I have never heard of that. Uh, please join us for the screening of Last Day of Freedom, followed by a conversation facilitated by Donna Murch, Associate Professor of History at Rutgers University on Friday, January 13th at 7 p.m. Skid Row History Museum and Archive. I still don't know what they are. But there you go, at any rate. Oh, look at this, Caltech. These are some very prestigious schools, and they are enemies of this country right now. They've turned themselves into enemies of the United States. You don't have the option of resisting the inauguration of any president. That's not an option. That is a that is against the law, and you deserve to be punished. 
I'm addressing now you schools that are doing this. You are breaking the law, and you deserve to be punished. Your college deans, college presidents, whatever, deserve to be hauled away in handcuffs to a holding cell until they can be put up on charges of sedition against the United States, possibly even treason. This is this has just gone too far. If you're not angry about this, um, I feel sorry for you. If you're an American and you are not incensed at these scumbags, I feel sorry for you. They are breaking the law, and they deserve to be punished. The American schools. I counted uh, 25 schools, and subtracting three of them that are foreign, that makes 22 schools so far. They're breaking the law, and they deserve to go to jail. It's as simple as that. Nothing else to know. They are committing a criminal act, and they deserve to be punished. That's how this works. I got a little long. I'm pretty pissed off right now. This is Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching. And I hope everything goes well on January 20th. The communists I mentioned, uh, well, they're going to be there. I think they're mostly full of hot air, to be honest with you. I've been looking at it, and I'm, well, I haven't heard anything out of them. And they're supposed to start causing trouble on the 12th, and nothing has happened so far, so. They probably are mostly full of hot air. It's probably more about getting donations than anything else. Who knows? I'll be watching. I'm just disgusted by this. I'm sorry. This shouldn't. This shouldn't be happening. Leadership of these colleges should be arrested immediately, and they should lose all federal and state funding immediately. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message.